Hi, I'm Clay Carlino, and I am not a professional auto mechanic, but I am still working on my car a lot. Recently, I posted a video where I was using a UV light to try to detect leaks in my air conditioner system. And what I discovered is that the UV light detects a lot more fluids than just the UV dye that I injected into my air conditioner. Since then, I've had a lot of people ask me whether there was any contamination in those fluids, or where the dye could have gotten into them, or if uh, all of those fluids just naturally glow under a UV light. So today, what I'm doing is I've taken fresh samples of all these different automotive fluids, uh, fresh from the bottle, none of them have been in my car before, and I've got a brand new UV light. This one is much better than the old one. Um, the one I bought at the auto parts store was uh, was very disappointing. It was cheaply made and it cost almost $30. This one was $10 on Amazon Prime. I got it in a couple days. So, you know, I'm much happier with that. So, um, <clears throat> I'm going to do the thing where I put the lenses over the camera. And then I'm going to turn out the lights, and I'm going to see these, these fluids, and we'll see how they respond to black light. We've got engine coolant, and that appears bright green under the UV light. Motor oil actually looks kind of a milky green color. The automatic transmission fluid now that's interesting. It actually looks uh, kind of a weird coffee brown color. In regular light, these fluids are transparent, but under the black light, it's opaque. That's weird. Steering fluid, kind of a kind of a greenish color. It doesn't go opaque the way that the other fluids do, but it's still uh, a little bit milky looking. Brake fluid. Brake fluid doesn't seem to do much of anything at all. I don't think that you're going to find brake fluid leaks with a UV light. And windshield washer fluid also doesn't really seem to do much of anything under a black light. So there you go. That is what different engine fluids look like underneath an ultraviolet light. I'm going to try and take some stills off of this video and post them onto my Instagram account. I'll put links in the description of this video so that you can find those pictures on Instagram and then you can use that as sort of a guide so that if you have mysterious fluids uh, coming out of your engine in places that, uh, that they're not supposed to, then perhaps you can shine a UV light on them, see what they look like, compare them to the pictures, and be able to get a good idea of what those fluids are. If you like this video, or you like my other videos, I encourage you please subscribe, click the thumbs up button, and um, other than that, learning to identify fluids using an ultraviolet light. Yay!